Hey everyone, my name is Elias. I work at the Definity Foundation as a software engineer. And today I'm gonna show you the latest additions to ICP Ninja for the Atlas milestone. We've been adding great features across the board. We revamped the landing page. We now have a dedicated community section directly on top. We added some new user settings. We've added dark mode. And finally, we've enabled it to publish your apps permanently on the internet computer. So let's get started. Here I'm on the new landing page of ICP Ninja. And you can see that we've totally redesigned the cards here. They are much more compact, enabling us to have even more examples on the landing page. That's great for you to find more templates and get you started even quicker. On the top here, we also have this brand new community section where we highlight projects that have been submitted by the community. Recently, we've been running a hackathon for ICP Ninja, where the goal was to submit great projects that work inside of ICP Ninja. For example, one group submitted a number guessing game that uses on-chain randomness to create a fun game. Another group created an app with an LLM where you can explore chemical reactions in a very fun way. There are many other projects and we keep adding more projects, not just from the community, but also down here in this section where we highlight specific features of the internet computer. Now, let me sign into ICP Ninja now. I already have an account set up with internet identity. And here, if I click, you can see we also integrated the new internet identity login. So this is internet identity 2.0. I can continue here with my fingerprint. And then it redirects me back to the landing page. You can see that I've been airdropped a free coupon here. More on that later. So I'm going to dismiss this for now. And the last thing I want to show you on the landing page is the brand new dark mode. This has been requested numerous times by the community. So we're super happy to introduce that to you. You can activate it on the top right here. If you click on the sun icon and boom, you can see all the colors are switching and you can explore ICP Ninja in the dark. I love that feature. Now, let me start by creating a new project from a template. So today I feel like creating a fun game. We have Flying Ninja here, so let's try that one out. It's a 2D side-scroller game, and it asks me for a language. So we have most examples in both Motoko and Rust. I'm gonna choose Motoko. And here I am in the brand new editor. You can also see it has a sleek dark mode. And I'm immediately going to click this run button on top here. This will make a preview of my app available for me to play the game and experience the code. Now, if we take a quick look at these files, you can see that it has a backend and a frontend folder in the backend. This is where we store things like the leaderboard, which you will see in a second. And um, a little check if it's a new high score that we need to display. And we also take advantage of on-chain randomness here to seed the game and make it unique every time you play it. And here on the front end, you can see that we are using a JavaScript stack based on React and you can make modifications here as you go. Now, in the meantime, my app has deployed and here on the right side, I can see a little preview of it and I'm just gonna start this game now. Oh, and I fell down. Let me try that again. Okay, now I'm playing and oh, fell down. High score of one. I'll try to improve my gaming skills. And this little preview stays live for 50 minutes if you're signed into ICP Ninja. So here you can see how much time you have left. And since I'm signed in, this is for 50 minutes. 
If you're not signed in, it stays live for around 30 minutes, which gives you plenty of time to play with your app and test it out. But what if you want to permanently publish your app to the mainnet? For that, we've partnered with CycleOps. That's a project that makes it very easy to publish canisters online and to track the cycles consumption of it. So first, let me click this publish button on top here to start the process of publishing your app. So it first asks me to save my project. Since I just opened this project, it's not saved yet. So I need to first give it a name and save it to my profile. I'm going to call it My Flying Ninja. I click Save Project. And now, remember the coupon that popped up in the beginning of the video? Now you can see where this comes to action. So you can see that it costs some ICP to publish my application. It's around $5. But we also make sure that new users on ICP Ninja have it even easier to publish apps. So we introduced coupons. You can view them and you can see that the whole installation cost will be covered by ICP Ninja. So you can claim that coupon and then you can publish this app for free. Now, you can also use your own ICP if you want to keep your coupon or if you've already used up all your coupons, you can use your own ICP to publish your app on the internet. Now I'm going to click Publish Canisters here. And this process is going to take roughly two minutes. So this is about the time that it takes to create new canisters and then compile your project and upload all the files to the internet computer. The first thing this process does is it creates two brand new canisters for your application. One canister for the front end and one for the back end. I can see that this is done now. So what's happening now is we will compile the entire source code and then upload the asset files into your canister. So let's give this a little bit more time. And then we will be able to take a look at our live application. So now that that's done, it has been published to the mainnet. And here we can see on the top section here, we got two new canister IDs. We have one for the front end and one for the back end. Now you can close this tab and come back to it at any time. And if you want to take a look at the live preview of your app, you can head to the left here and click this little globe icon. And over here, you can see a live preview of your canister. You can also open it in a new tab here if you click that button. And there you can see the public URL for your app accessible by anyone right now. And people can now start playing this game. And once they finished, they can enter their name here. I'm going to enter my first name here. And they can submit their high score to the public leaderboard. And anyone can also play this game and can compete for number one. Now, here I can also take a look at the backend interface of my canister. Here I can see all the functions that are exposed. So, for example, I can call the get leaderboard function of my backend, and you can see here that here's my high score when I just played the game. On the top left here, we integrated another very useful feature for the Atlas Milestone. We've integrated CycleOps, which allows you to monitor your canister's health. So every canister on the internet computer requires cycles to run. Cycles are kind of like the gas fee on Ethereum or AWS credits on a centralized cloud provider like AWS. And essentially it pays for the storage and the computation that's done by your canister. And here you can see in a very nice way that the health of my canisters is okay. They have enough cycles here. 
and I might need to top them up in about 14 days from now. Now, usually those estimates in the very beginning are quite conservative, but as more people start using your application, this estimate will become better and better. And here, if you have some ICP in your Cyclops account, you can even top up your canister right from here to make it live longer and make it have more resources for compute. And finally, down here, you have a button where you can manage this canister in Cyclops. You will have a precise history of the cycles it used. You can also top it up and you can set the controllers and more settings. And finally, I want to show you the new settings section that we've been adding to ICP Ninja. You can find it here under this gear and you can see that over here, you can now choose your own username. You still have your old user ID and that's the default username for everyone, but you can now change it to something more memorable. And here over in the preferences, you can also switch between the dark theme and the light theme. And you can also say sync with the system that will allow you to change between dark and light mode and it will adapt to whatever your system settings are. Down here you can see all your connected services. So since I've published to the mainnet now, you can see that my CycleOps account is connected here. And down here you would see coupons. I've just used mine, but normally if you have an available coupon, you will also find it here. So that wraps up the summary of what we've introduced with the Atlas milestone to ICP Ninja. I've shown you the revamped landing page with the gorgeous new dark mode. I've highlighted the community section, the new profile settings, and we've published a project permanently to mainnet with the Cyclops integration. If you want to check this out yourself, head to icp.ninja today and deploy your canisters. Thanks for watching.